Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. In this video we've got a couple of things to get to, a bit of compensation and obviously some news surrounding the forums that a lot of people know about but we'll be covering that as well. We're going to get into the first of the compensations and this should be one that you will be receiving soon enough but we haven't actually received just yet. And it's a part of this A Bear's Journey update post, which we'll read through. I do like that this image just has Brutus randomly in the background just sitting there, just chilling. But okay, we're going to read through this. It says, A Bear's Journey update on the 24th of the 9th. Hey survivors, we launched A Bear's Journey at the beginning of September in hopes of creating an exciting way to participate in the Road to Survival's calendar of events. We've heard feedback from the community in recent weeks about confusion surrounding the event. So here is some clarity on the 40 bear paw tokens players can expect through gameplay. 10 bear tokens were from a bear's journey login mission events, which we already knew. 20 bear paw tokens from the five row maps that would be appearing. We've had four now. We knew there was a fifth on the way. So we did know there was going to be, you know, a, a few more bear tokens that way. But that's 30. And then we have sourced 11 event related bear paw tokens thus far being one in the hunter's log three in the aftermath event one in the allegiance event and six in the wayland's forge event now i do believe the one in the, the hunter's log event really can't be seen as one of the 40 but they did clarify that before that it wasn't one of the main 40 it was just an addition and we've got here it says you can expect to source one to three more bear paw tokens through the gameplay over the last two weeks of the event as well so there's going to be way more than 40 we also have had some compensation where they've given out a bear paw token there is random bear paw tokens as well that you can get from wayland's forge if you get lucky i've got lucky from one personally and of course there were extra missions like the prestige stuff the missions on top of that just to get some extra bear paw tokens there but realistically we needed this information at the beginning of the event like from my personal perspective as a content creator i get asked questions constantly like on my live streams i get messaged all the time it's on my discord this clarification shouldn't be coming three weeks into an event it should be coming day one just the clarification of this is how you can expect to get the 40 because they said we would get 40 from game gameplay so it's nothing wrong with just telling us how we can get those and then I, and at least I personally, I could point the people in the direction of this post. It's a bit late in the day now because I think a lot of people have kind of calculated that they, they're going to get the remainder that they need because they can see how much they can get on login. They can see how much they can get on the roadmaps. They know there's one more roadmap coming. They probably need one or two more over the top of that. So, I, I mean, I've calculated that I can get 40 right now and I'm only at like 25. So... I think a lot of people have already done, but this clarification should have come a lot earlier. There is also an update on the Wayland's Forge. It says, we also wanted to update players on the recent Wayland's Forge bug. If you completed the Wayland's Forge 1 or Wayland's Forge 2 museum collections, but progress did not update on the Wayland's Forge mission event, your mission event progress will be corrected within the next 24 hours, at which point you will be able to claim the correct rewards and continue your progression. And there is a gift offer that they're going to be sending. I believe every single player will read through it. Finally, we want to thank the community for being patient with us this past week we'd like to show our appreciation with this gift offer which will be sent to all players within the next 48 hours the contents are shown below and it is actually a pretty good compensation i'm gonna be honest three war refills isn't really that big a deal but three arena tickets is nice it just reduces the amount of arena tickets you really needed to do to do well in this forge event three crystal bags is a nice little bonus so guaranteed to get three crystals from that up to 30 one bear paw token, not included in those ones that were listed above. So again, it's another one for compensation. 10,000 armory tokens, two blow torches, one varnish, and one energy grease. That's obviously enough for one try at a tier 4 special. Now, that isn't that bad. Tier 4 slot 4. Just a little bit of compensation. I don't think that's too terrible. Just going to get a little bit of something added on. I have talked about compensation in the past. If it's decent, usable, stuff that everyone's going to use, can't really complain too much. I don't think it's going to be too much. And this really hasn't really been a too much of a hassle. If it was really near the end of the event, it would have been. And as long as it didn't affect too many people like over the weekend, like if it got into um, Champions Arena and this wasn't fixed, that would have been a problem because people can use a lot of Champions Arena tickets to get those attacks that they need for the bonus missions. Now, we did have a Prestige Mission issue update earlier on in the week as well. And it's a quite a small post. I won't read through it, but basically it was about the Prestige Mission issue where it was, a, I think initially it was 15 days and it got re reduced to five days. 
And it was mainly because people who are Prestige 13 already couldn't actually gain Prestige anymore. And guess what? That's the player group that it was actually aimed at, the people who would be willing to spend. You should have already received this stuff. I have already received it myself. 30 beehives, another bear pull token not included in that 40 or 43 that it listed before. 10 Brady's and then you've got two choice boxes of gear so that should be pretty nice it does say that in addition if you are prestige 13 and you did gain the amount of prestige or you would have gained the amount of prestige to finish the missions they'll just give you some bonus rewards as well loads of cards as you can see some energy refill crates some more legendary gear some more epic gear um, choice boxes for canteen and gps handcraft radio and military watch so this is pretty much the same sort of deal that you would have got regardless but i don't think it gives the better cards, I think it goes up to, it's just the basic cards, Rosita, yeah, it's just the basic um, 30, 30 crate that you're going to be getting, you're not going to be getting, I think it was, was it Jackie, Mr. Lou, I mean, it might have had, might have had Michonne in there, and uh, maybe Alpha, I'm not sure, it had some better characters in there, basically, so you're not going to get anything of those, but if you did gain prestige over that period, you, or you did spend money where you would have gained prestige as a prestige 13 player, you will get some extra rewards because of that. So the last bit of news is the fact that the forums are going to be shut down. Scopely have decided to close their own forums and it says, Hello survivors, The Walking Dead Road to Survival is a game that is constantly going through changes and updates, not only in the way that the game itself functions, but also in the way that we engage our community. Today we will be announcing another change. Late last year, we made a shift to providing all of our most important information and updates to all players via our official blog which has allowed us to reach more of you than ever. We followed the blog up with the launch of our official Discord, which allows players to reach out directly to our development team, community management team, and interact with members of our player council directly to ensure that your voice is heard. Feedback from our official Discord has played a part in many of the changes that we've rolled out in the last year, including the Total War update, the Grey Market Diamond Exchange, and more. We have put a lot of consideration into the future of the official forums and today we are announcing that we will be officially closing them down. We have decided that we will no longer be splitting our attention between Discord and the forums and instead we'll be focusing our efforts entirely into our Discord channel to ensure that it is the best community experience that we can provide. Leading up to this change, we have moved all the information from the combat guide into the official blog and applied the game guide tag to it. You can access it anytime by clicking the three dots or three lines button at the top of the page and selecting game guide from the menu. Combat guide has also been updated with the latest combat information. In addition, to the combat guide we plan on adding more content to the game section of the blog in the future by running contests where players will be able to submit written game guides for a chance to win various in-game rewards expect to hear about these contests in the coming weeks you can expect this forum to change to a read only state at 10 a.m pacific time on the 30th of september followed by all posts becoming inaccessible at 10 a.m pacific time on the 5th of october we realize that there may be content that some of you wish to preserve so please do so in the time allotted in addition effective immediately no new forum accounts will be approved for creation we strongly believe that more positive changes to the game will come from continuing the conversation on our official discord and encourage any of you that have not yet joined the server to do so best twd rts team so personally my thoughts on the forum closing is it's kind of been quite a long time coming i would have expected this has probably been discussed by scopely for quite a while this isn't going to be a quick rush decision i would have assumed that it's probably going to be for the last six months to a year because i know myself that the activity on the forums is really really low and especially since the discord server was created it just has a lot more activity on there there's a lot more active users the developers do get in on the conversation and they just don't anymore on the forums and they did at one point and that was probably the best part of time of the forums was when they did um, but obviously there have been some very toxic parts of the community on the forums it has been a, a very long ongoing issue and it has pushed a lot of people out of the forums honestly and in a way a lot of the forums in itself as a mass kind of shot itself in the foot in that situation where even if there are good people on the forums allowing certain types of people to run riot as it were it, in the end was always going to lead to this sort of situation unfortunately and I don't think the forums were ever really used properly. It just became a place where just people could complain and whine, not really try and do anything too proactive or 
create a, a good conversation. It was just a lot of whining. And to consider the fact that Scopely did actually pay for these forums. These are not free forums that they're just randomly using. They paid to be able to have these forums. If you go and find out that it's from Discourse, which is a forum provider, these forums aren't cheap, you know? And when it originally came, it was a massive upgrade. If you ever remember the old forums, they were absolutely terrible. It was such a massive upgrade to have these forums. And like I said, it was a bit disappointing how the community as a whole used them. Don't get me wrong, there were some various people and groups that used the forums very well. But unfortunately, the negative elements were just too strong. And in the end, the activity on the forums is just massively reduced. Like my own YouTube channel in terms of response and activity massively eclipsed the forums really quickly. And Discord did the same as well within probably like a week. Right now, the amount of people that are on Discord is, you know, in the thousands. And you're maybe getting an active user base on the forums of a couple of hundred. They might share the old posts now and then. But realistically, you're sharing posts of announcements that are linking to the blog. So you're just, the forum just became a link through for people who still used it. And I don't think that it was really realistic to expect Scopely to keep paying for something just for a bunch of people to use it as a link service. So that will be the end of the official forums. Any official conversation that you want to have with Scopely or about The Walking Dead Road to Survival will be now on their official Discord. I have linked to this in the past on my Discords. There are unofficial places as well which you can discuss The Walking Dead Road Survival that have always existed in fact. There is a Reddit for instance where you could go if you so wish. So it definitely isn't the end of written conversation if you so wish to have that. But do give me your thoughts on the compensation we are due to be receiving. We have obviously got one. There's another one due to come. I think it's going to be coming in our office section. So just do keep an eye out for that. And obviously give me your thoughts on the forums closing down. Will you miss it? Did you ever use it? Have you moved on to other things already? Let me know in the comments down below. That is the end of my video. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.